Hi, science friends. This is Narwhal Nina for High Touch High Tech. This is our experiment of the month. What month? Spooky month. Happy Halloween! Boo! <laughs> Today we're doing pumpkin science. Have you ever thunked on a pumpkin to hear the hollow sound inside? Have you ever cut one open and seen all the goopy guts? Pumpkins are not as simple as they appear. What are pumpkins even made of anyway? What is everything made of? Well, today we're doing an experiment to take a pumpkin apart and see what it's made of. This experiment is all about the concept of density. We're gonna examine density in our pumpkin density tower. It might look like witch's brew, but it's actually a really fun science experiment. I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I have. So for this experiment, you're gonna need one pumpkin, cut in half. You're going to need a third cup corn syrup and some dye of your favorite color. You're gonna need some water, a third cup. You, I dyed it creepy green, but you can dye it whatever color you like. You're also going to need some oil, a third of a cup. You're going to need a spoon. You're going to need some kitchen tongs and a big knife for cutting your pumpkin. Make sure you have an adult science friend to help you cut that pumpkin because we're going to cut this pumpkin up into little bitty pieces. So density, what is density anyway? Density is basically how much stuff, molecules, or we could say in science, matter, is smushed inside an object. The higher the density, the more matter an object has, the heavier it is. The lower the density, the less matter an object has, the lighter it is. So high density equals heavy. Low density equals light. Density is all around us. It's in your body. It's in pumpkins. It's in liquids. Everything that's made of matter has its own density. And things that look the same on the surface can often have really different densities, depending on how much matter is in them. So we're going to look at matter today and see how density works with our little pumpkin friend. Let's see it for ourselves. Are you ready? Let's get ready to test our pumpkin density by creating our tower of witch's brew. It's actually a tower of different dense liquids. Let's try. These liquids all look the same, right? Liquids are liquids, but liquids are actually very different on the molecular level underneath. Let's see what it looks like. So to start, this is my big tower of witch's brew that we'll be using later. You can make a smaller one with a jar. And here it goes. To start, we pour some corn syrup. This is our liquid number one in the brew. Watch as the corn syrup pours. Oh, it's so thick and so heavy. We can see it pouring almost as if it was honey or cement. You can mix your favorite color in there. I'm gonna go for pink, because I like the way pink looks with green, and stir it up. Watch out, it gets a little messy here. But you know, making witch's brew is never a clean process. All right, now here comes our first level of the density tower. You wanna pour very slowly. Whoa, looks cool. Looks a little bit like blood. <laughs> Pouring your corn syrup in the jar so it fills. Look how slowly it moves. You can see it there. How thick and heavy it is. What would you say? Is corn syrup high density or low density? <laughs> Observe and you'll have the answers. All right, there's our first level of the tower. Put that aside. Next, add the water. Make sure you do it in order with corn syrup, water, and then oil. 
Here comes our creepy green swamp water. I think how water pours, it flows so much more easily than corn syrup. Do you think that makes it less dense or more dense? Let's find out. You want to do it slowly and add your water to the jar. Here it goes. Magic takes a little patience and so does science. Pour it slow. There we go. Can you see it, science friends? Look at those different densities there. They've separated right out. Density is all around us. In things that look the same, they're often so different. Now, what will happen when we add oil, our final level of the witch's brew? A third of a cup, and you'll want to pour it carefully, just like the others. There we go. Woo! <gasps> now that oil flowed pretty fast. Right, oil is slippery and smooth. Do you think it's going to sink down and be more dense or sit on the top and be less dense? Let's find out. Pour your oil slowly and carefully. Just like any good witch or scientist would. There we go. A few drips won't hurt, but make sure your adult science friend is going to help you clean up. Isn't that cool, everybody? Can you see the different density layers? Wow, the oil floats on top of the water. So, in our witch's brew tower, which one is the most dense? That's right, corn syrup is full of heavy sugars, and so it sinks to the bottom, the heaviest. Water is in the middle, and oil is so light because it's full of fat, and so it rises to the top. That's what density looks like. Now it's time to test the pumpkin. Ha ha ha. Are you ready, everyone? Our pumpkin friend has been cut in half and we have cut it up into different parts of the pumpkin. Which parts are the most dense with the most matter? Which parts are the least dense with the least matter? We have pumpkin seeds, pumpkin skin, pumpkin flesh. We have pumpkin slime, dry pumpkin, and pumpkin stem. Good scientists always make a hypothesis before they experiment. Science friends, which ones do you think will sink to the bottom? And which ones do you think will rise? Which ones are the most dense, which the least? Is the skin the most dense? Do you think the seeds are the most dense? Is it the slime? Let's find out. We'll use our big witch's tower for this one and put our little one aside. I'm using tongs here because what you want to do is deliver the pumpkin pieces to the bottom. This part will take you a while as you observe the pumpkin parts slowly moving to different parts of the tower. Different parts will have different levels depending on their density. Where will the heaviest ones be? That's right, they'll stay on the bottom. Where will the lightest ones be? That's right, they'll be on the top. So let's take some pumpkin parts and put them in the witch's brew to test their density. I'm gonna take some seeds and put them here. You can do them all at once or you can do them in different parts depending. This is your experiment and you can do it whatever way you like. Let's add some slime. That's lots of slime. Let's go for it. Yes. Nice and slimy. All right, let's take the pumpkin stem, put it in there. How about some of that pumpkin skin? All right, our friend the pumpkin is ready to test its density. Go slowly and enjoy observing how these liquids work together. Wow. Oh, 
so cool to see them go through different layers. And those layers stay apart because of density. All right, there's my pumpkin hearts all at the bottom. I'm going to let them go and let them rise or sink depending on their depth. Different parts move to different levels depending on how much matter is in them. It's not really magic, it's science. And that's just as much fun. So, what would happen, science friends, if you added different parts of the pumpkin? What would happen if you added different fruits? What would happen if you added other liquids to your witch's brew density tower? What would happen if you dropped Halloween candy in there. That, my friends, is the fun of science. Now it's up to you to experiment and enjoy. Have fun testing out density with your pumpkin density witch's brew tower. Thanks a lot, science friends. Have fun experimenting and happy Halloween!